Hello friends, myself Anand B. Kudori and today we are here to learn a hydraulic jump which is the most important phenomena in the open channel flow. Okay, so in that today we are going to cover the definition of hydraulic jump, then location where it occurs, then, so, then why do we create hydraulic jumps, then classification based on the frauds number and its practical applications. So friends, the first uh, thing is a definition of hydraulic jump okay it is the phenomena in which the flow suddenly passes from supercritical flow to subcritical flow due to distinct rise or jump of water in the jump of water okay and it is also known, known as standing wave okay and hydraulic jump is a typical example of a rapidly varied flow what do you mean rapidly varied flow uh, it means uh, the flow characteristics like velocity discharge pressure are abruptly changes okay so that type of flow is we can call as rapidly varied flow and its example is hydraulic jump as you know a gradual varied flow means what the flow characteristics are gradually changes over the length of the channel okay but in uh, it is the opposite case of opposite uh, rapid varied flow is the opposite case of gradual varied flow in that flow characteristics are abruptly changes okay then uh, our next point is location means where the hydraulic jump can be possible okay whenever steep slope meets mild slope or horizontal slope okay suppose if the flow of water is from this steep slope the meeting at the meeting to the mild slope that this uh, this is the location where hydraulic jump is possible okay then next one is next case is whenever steep slope meets adverse slope adverse slope means what it is increasing slope okay means uh, if you consider the length okay then it is increasing with respect to length okay so in that case also if the water is flowing from the steep slope and meeting to the adverse slope that this point also it is the possibility of case of hydraulic jump may occur okay then third case is whenever the hump is provided on the steep slope whenever hump is the provided this is the increment in some increment in the bed slope uh, on the bed of the on the bed okay the river bed or any flow bed okay then here also it is the possibility of occurring hydraulic jump okay so here i have written also so whenever steep slope meets mild slope or a adverse slope okay then second is the on the downstream side of the sluice gate okay then third is the on the upstream side whenever hump is provided on the steep slope so there may be possibility of hydraulic jump occur then reasons why do we create hydraulic jump okay so friends for that i will give an example uh, in the hydropower plant what we do we use the kinetic energy of flowing water to produce electrical energy okay electrical energy but after producing the electrical energy if the same water means means increase the velocity water if we directly dispose into the downstream side of the river then what will happen uh, scoring may be possible scoring may be occur that's why to avoid that thing we have to reduce the velocity of water and then it has to be disposed into the downstream side of the water uh, or downstream side of the river so for that reason we are producing the hydraulic jump and in that the velocity of water is reduces so i have uh, written also on the slide that to reduce the speed of water which is to be disposed into the downstream side of the river after producing the electrical energy okay and to reduce the scoring and sedimentation or deposition of the loose material okay so for that reason we are creating the hydraulic jump then next classification based on the frauds number uh, friends what do you mean fr uh, frauds number it is the ratio of square root of inertia force to the gravitational force okay so classification is based on the uh, frauds number so first type is angular jump okay whose range is 1 to 1.7 fraud number the next one is weak jump oscillating jump steady jump and strong jump whose range is above 9 okay 9 or above its fraud number okay then next one is classification 
with description with description in the first case angular jump whose proud number will be 1 to 1.7 there small uh, undulations of under uh, small undulations are formed or small ripples are formed formed on the surface of the water okay so we can call it is a angular jump okay then weak jump small rollers are developed on the surface of the water okay the energy loss is also very low uh, the main reason to create the water level jump is to re reduction of energy or to reduce the velocity velocity means kinetic energy were reducing okay then next is oscillating jump in that uh, the jump oscillates from bottom to top and back again at an irregular period okay irregular which uh, waves which travel a long distance are produced these waves may cause considerable damage to the bank of the channel okay then steady jam in that fraud number is 4.5 to 9 okay and then here jump is formed okay jump is formed but it is steady jump means it is not moving for uh, forward okay so that is called as steady jump in that energy loss in the range of 45 to 70 percent the next one is strong jump okay whenever fraud number is 9 or larger then the jump is called as strong jump okay and uh, the jump surface is very rough and continuous for long distance however the energy dissipation can be up to 85 percent means we can reduce the energy or we can minimize the energy by up to 85 percent then practical applications of this hydraulic jump the main and important application is to dissipate the energy a rest of all are uh, minor applications we can call as a minor application but main and important application is to dissipate the energy of flowing water over the dams or weirs etc and prevent the scoring on the downstream the next one is it is used to increase the discharge through a sluice by holding the water back then it is used to increase the water depth on the apron and thus reduce the uplift pressure means we are increasing the if we increase the depth of water means we are indirectly increasing the weight of the water so it will reduce the uplift pressure means we are putting some pressure on the uh, uplift pressure means what which is acting from the downstream side uh, from the downs downside of the or from the upward side uh, from the bottom of the bottom of the found, uh, foundation or soil that is called we can call as a uplift pressure and by uh, by increasing the weight of water we are reducing that uplift pressure it is also used to raise the water level in irrigation canals thus increasing the command it is used for aeration and dechlorination of wastewater okay it is also used for mixed chemicals thoroughly in the water treatment plants okay uh, i hope you all would have understood the uh, definition its classification reason and where it is occurs okay so thank you thank you for the watching this video don't forget to subscribe share and like have a nice day thank you thank you very much